so here we are at our mushroom cultivation, shiitake cultivation at Isoervokinitu. And so what it really is about is turning wood into something edible, into mushrooms. So, so what we do here is we cultivate shiitake and some other mushrooms that are saprofoods, so, so wood decomposing mushrooms, so they turn the mushroom into food. That's, I suppose, what it is. Simply put, what, what we're doing. And, and, uh, and this is basically copying the traditional Japanese shiitake cultivation. So actually what you see in the background looks very much like a Japanese outdoor shiitake cultivation. The biggest work input is, of course, the inoculation phase. So, so uh, we have to get logs. Uh, so there should be fresh logs in the winter, uh, like early uh, February, March logging, uh, birch or, or uh, oak or basically any broadleaf uh, uh, species. And then in, usually in April, we inoculate them. So that means a lot of drilling and putting the mycelium in the logs and covering it with uh, beeswax and then laying them down down here in the yard. So that's the biggest work input. So then, then it takes about a year for the mycelium to take over the log. So, so you won't see any mushrooms the same year. It will be the following and the year after that. And then they will produce for a couple of years, so let's say five, six years. I think it's pretty simple. I mean, it's like you harvest, but I mean... Well, I think it is, a, it is a, for small farmers a, a um, potential side income. Uh, I, I think it would be difficult to do this in a scale which would be a full income for anybody. But as a side income for any forest owners, I mean, Finland, most farmers have forest. Uh, and, uh, and in most forests you have birch. Oak is not so common here, but uh, birch you have everywhere uh, and other broadleaf trees. So you could log those and uh, instead of using it as firewood, you can inoculate mushrooms and you get much higher value uh, for that. So, so I think it's a potential side income uh, for small farmers. Yeah.